Welcome back, all my movie maniacs. It's that time. It is I, and I've got one for you today. It's a movie called Plus One. Yes, Plus One. Oh, the title. Isn't that great? Where we get the story of a... It's a house party for college kids, and uh, three college friends go to this house party. One of them's David, who just recently screwed up with his girlfriend, who's also at the party, okay? And so what's supposed to be a, a great night uh, of just debauchery and ultimate college drinking and nudity and all kinds of things going on, well, a meteor kind of throws a mix in the works, and it kind of throws things into chaos as people start seeing doubles of themselves. And it starts to draw into question what is the intention of the doubles, and uh, they always they seem to be um, you know further back in time than where they are now, and it, it's just a question of what is the intention of the doubles, and what's going to happen when these two meet, and who really belongs in the now. Uh, <laughs> I love this movie. I enjoyed this movie, okay? I, uh, not a phenomenal film, but I really was entertained. Now, the premise is is a great spin on the old college house party story. You know, at first, it, on the surface, kind of looks like, oh, it's going to be another one of those. You kind of got your basic story, the one uh, guy who wants to try to get his girl back. They're both at the party, and she wants nothing to do with him. And so you got that conflict. He's got his buddy. Uh, so David's got a buddy named Teddy, and Teddy's just trying to score with a lovely lady. And you've got the uh, their friend, who is Allison, who's kind of the mousy girl, the unpopular girl, but she's friends with them, and they're good friends. Uh, and so you've got, you know, kind of your uh, cliche type of characters put in a very original idea. And so it keeps it entertaining, it keeps it interesting, wanting to see how things played out. Now you've got Rise Wakefield in here playing David, and we remember him from The Purge. I enjoyed him a lot more in this film than I did in The Purge. Though he was really good in The Purge, don't get me wrong, I liked his, him, his performance better in this one. And maybe it's just the way he was written. Uh, then you got Ashley Henshaw in here. She was actually in Chronicle. I liked her performance as well. She seemed very real as the pissed off girlfriend, though I'm sure she's had those situations. It was easy for her to, to do that type of character. Again, not really deep characters, uh, but interesting situation for these characters. And then Susan Dingle's Allison. They did great with her double, and they had it easy with her because she actually has a, a twin sister, the actress does. So they were able to do some more interesting very interesting interactions between her and her double. But that leads me to the effects in this film. The, the, they've come a long way since uh, Back to the Future 2, let me tell you. Wow, I just dated myself. But they have. The, the way they have people dealing with their doubles is fantastic in this film. Looks really good, really seamless and realistic of them, uh, you know, confronting themselves, the, the doubles facing each other in that. The special effects for that were really well done. And in general, you've got uh, the, a premise that's interesting. Now, the story was written by Dennis uh, Iliadis, uh, Iliadis, excuse me if I mispronounced that, he was the guy who did uh, Last House on the Left. He directed that. He wrote the story for this and directed it. Screenplay by Bill Agulo. And I really like the story, this concept. It's interesting. And this film, uh, with adding the meteorite being the cause of this uh, things going on, it makes you really wonder uh, <laughs> um, what genre to put this in. You can't really put it in one. It's not exactly a full-blown just college party movie, but not exactly. It's got sci-fi elements. It's got comedy. It's got drama, romance. And it's got a little bit of everything in here. What I can tell you, it is a whole lot of fun, at least for me. I really enjoyed Plus One. I enjoyed it more than I thought it would. I thought it was just going to be a shtick. And while you've got some shallower characters in here, uh, and cliche characters, you've got a great interesting situation and story and it really makes you want to see how things play out and even when it ends it leaves a big kind of question mark in there on uh you know who is who and, and there who really belongs here in the now so check out plus one if you can i gave it three and a half stubs i really enjoyed this movie i think you will too well again if you get down to brass tacks in the basis of the character you know the actual characters and what they're going on we've seen that before but not in this type of situation. And so with the uh, thing of the duplicates, it definitely opened up the uh, possibilities, and they do explore some of those, which was also nice. It's a refreshing change and a, a fun independent film that I think is worth your time, at least on video on demand. And that'll about do it for us here at The Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stop.